Welcome back to Forest Firearms, everybody. I'm Ivan, and today, after several requests, we're going to be doing a dedicated Type 14 Nambu uh, disassembly, clean, and lube. I've had, um, like I said, several requests to do this, and I actually filmed this video on a different camera, but the file got corrupted, so we're gonna try it again. So, uh, let's just get into it. So before you clean your Type 14 Nambu, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have some oil of some sort. I find that this Nambu at least seems to like a more grease-based lube. I like to use frog lube. As long as you don't get it too cold, it works pretty good. But I have found that this Nambu does like the frog lube stuff, so that's what I like to use. Also, um, a cloth or something to wipe off the old, uh, you know, carbon uh, covered parts and to reapply your oil. This is just an old cut up t-shirt, works great. I've also found that on the Type 14 Nambu that it is handy to have some Q-tips to get into some of the small recesses. And a lot of old pistols of this era have some small recesses, so Q-tips are pretty handy when cleaning these old pistols. Um, you can also, for the bore, either use a bore snake, which is my preferred method. My dog's running around, you might hear him. Or one of these kind of jacks, uh, pull through, push through type, but I tend to prefer the bore snake. And kind of optional is a bore light. So this makes it handy, especially if your eyes are, are failing or if you wanna be really particular about uh, how clean your bore is. So without further ado, first things first, you wanna make sure that that magazine is empty. Um, you just might know, maybe it's your great grandfather's pistol he brought back and you're not sure if it's loaded. It was a good thing before you start touching these old pistols to make sure that that magazine is empty. And you wanna make sure that this safety is off. Back is on and when it's on, you cannot retract the bolt. So some people think that their Nambu is all seized up, but they haven't realized that that's the safety and it needs to be off. So off is in the forward position and you can retract the bolt and you'll see that it locks open, you know, get a light in there, that it locks open on the follower. Then you wanna inspect the chamber and make sure that that chamber is empty. And this one is. Next step, you'll see on the back of these pistols, there's this firing pin plunger. You're going to depress that and then twist off the caulking piece counterclockwise. You're gonna have a little bit of tension here because it is under spring tension but you just wanna be easy. You'll remove the caulking piece. Then inside you'll have a firing pin plunger and firing pin spring. And finally, your Nambu Type 14 firing pin. You wanna inspect this, make sure it's not broken. You wanna make sure you have the ledge back here that catches basically on the sear and make sure that that firing pin looks all in one piece because these can get damaged from time to time. The next step will be you depress the magazine uh, release and pull out your magazine. The bolt will slam forward. That's okay. And at this point, I'll set the magazine aside. This is pretty much the only tricky part of, dis of disassembling an Ambu. You want to push the barrel back. This is a short recoil action, so that's part of the actual function of the firearm. So you push that back, you're gonna push in the magazine release, and then pull off the trigger guard. So. A lot of times it's easy to do it on a, on a table here, so maybe I can show you. We're gonna push down, press in that magazine release, and pull off your trigger pack. And yes, the Nambu's trigger is one full um, contained unit, which makes it pretty handy. For that point, the upper will separate from the lower, and up here on the upper, like I said, it's already oily because I already cleaned this, but I had a problem. You're going to have your locking block, your bolt, and your dual recoil springs. And that's it from the top. You have the barrel and this receiver section are, are one piece. And, on, and at this, on the, on the lower receiver, this is all one contained piece too. So from here, I would, I'll just kind of redo this. I would take my bolt and I'd wipe off all of the grime and grit and just kind of keep an eye open and see how dirty it all is and that's kind of your call all the little pieces make sure that that they're cleaned off 
and I'll give a good wipe on the inside of this lower receiver also. Okay. Then you can see on, at the, on the inside of this bolt, there's some recesses that the springs actually will ride in. And then on the other side, they will ride in on the bolt. So you wanna make sure that those are clean. So I'll take a Q-tip and I'll clean it out on both sides and I'll get in, in there on the bolt. I mean, sorry, on the upper receiver. Also, you wanna check out that feed ramp and the chamber. You wanna make sure that that's nice and shiny or at least cleaned off. And your firing pin will probably be dirty too, so give that a rub also. Now, since I don't shoot corrosive ammunition through this stuff, I, I don't get too anal when I clean these old firearms. It is, you know, a lot of people think, think that your firearm has to be absolutely, you know, clean beyond a doubt and I find for the most part it doesn't really matter as long as you're shooting modern ammunition and uh, at this point I'll take my barrel I'll put a little oil on my boar snake a little grease and you will have a weight on the bottom of these boar snakes you let gravity be your friend and drop it through. Then you will pull this through the gun. And you can rinse and repeat that as much as you want until you get that bore to how clean you want it. This one's not too bad already. I've already given it a couple swipes but that's good enough for what I'm doing. I'm gonna be shooting this pretty soon anyways. Also, on this bolt, I'll take a little bit of my grease, and when you're using these, uh, these Q-tips, they have a tendency to wanna to leave cotton behind. Just be mindful of that. I'll just give a quick swipe on both of those, and make sure that that's Got a little bit of lube in there. And I will get a little oil on my cloth and make sure that this bolt is nice and greasy, but not too crazy because the grease does have a tendency to clump up a hair. So you just wanna make sure that it is, in fact, sometimes it's more handy with your finger. It ain't a big deal, you just have to clean off your hands. Just wanna make sure that, especially up places that they have friction, which you can see right there has friction right there has wear and friction wherever you see that on some of these old pistols that's a wear spot so you want to make sure that that is a little bit slick so this bolt is a little bit greasy which is fine and then i will take a little bit of this grease and rub it inside to make sure that that track is nice and smooth and just a hair. Spread it out on the inside, especially in those channels. And right here is your ejector. So as the round is extracted, it hits that and throws it off the top. So it comes out this way. I like to just make sure that that has a little bit of grease on it. So I will take the bolt. Here's your springs. It's nice and smooth. Put those in and I will lay that in the firearm and you can feel how smooth that, that already is. So that's plenty, plenty lubed for me. And then I will take this locking block and this locking block does have quite a bit of, uh, I mean, it, it is the locking system of the firearm. So you wanna make sure that there's some oil on that too. Oh boy, those dogs are having a great time, aren't they? We will continue. So make sure that this is nice and oiled up. And then we will, sorry, so let's get that backwards. Lay that inside, it's nice and smooth. And this is actually the locking system of the firearm. So with this depressed, you cannot pull that out. With it lifted, it'll move. 
So the top assembly is pretty much finished. Then I will take the in the lower receiver and just get a little bit of grease in there also. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, this stuff can get kind of gummy. And when that's done, you hold this upside down or at least to the side and you can push that on and retract it. At that point, you will take your trigger pack, press in that uh, magazine release and it'll, and it'll lock forward. Then at, at this point, I'll take my magazine and um, take my firing pin. And with this firing pin, I'm gonna do just a dash. I don't want it to be too gummed up in there. You're gonna pull the trigger so that sear drops. Drop that in there. Take your firing pin spring. Drop that in there also. And then you're gonna have your plunger. Wanna make sure, sure that the plunger is in the spring and this one is. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. And then the final step, you will put, on, put, put back on your caulking piece. And this can be a little bit tricky, so you wanna get a couple turns on it. Then put pressure until you find the place where it drops in. And then she is back together. So that is how I just do a quick field strip, clean and lube of the Type 14 Nambu pistol. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.